Well, John had come down to the Shark Shack with me several times. The Shark Shack was out in the San Fernando Valley. It's where we were building the mechanical shark. John really enjoyed it because he liked to kind of like stick his whole body into the maw of the shark. You have to imagine John, who always had some girth, um, uh, uh, you know, thrust into the shark, and all you saw was was his rear end and his legs, and you would suddenly hear John yelling, "Jaws!" and it would echo throughout the belly of the of the polyurethane mechanical steel shark. But because of that, you know, John was interested. I gave John the script to read, and John read the script and thought it was a good script. Uh, I gave him some books, you know, that were really terrifying books about tiger hunting, and he, he employed a lot of those ideas in Jaws. Stephen had a great respect and admiration for, for John's ability with dialogue. And I said, John, I got this scene, you know, about the USS Indianapolis. It's only two paragraphs long, but I think this is a, this, this could be an epiphany for all the other guys on the boat, the, the Richard Dreyfuss character, the Roy Scheider character, and the Robert Shaw character, to be able to share this kind of catharsis about what happened in 1945. Uh, but it's too short, and Howard's not doing any more writing on the movie, and will you take a crack at this? And he said, sure. Wrote it over the phone. I got 10-page monologue back from John. A 10-page monologue, which basically was very close to what's in the movie. It was the perfect way of letting the world know, and the perfect way for us to know about his personality, about Quint. Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side chief. He was coming back from the island of Tinian to Lady, just delivered the bum, the Hiroshima bum. Robert Shaw read all 10 pages, and he loved every word, but Robert said, I can't say all this, it's too much to memorize. It, it was a very compelling speech, but it was a movie by itself. It was a movie within a movie. So Robert Shaw sat down and Robert cut the speech in half, and he did all the editing himself. He brought it down to five pages. You know the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. My favorite shot in the story of that scene is when he's in the middle of it, and there's this shot on me, and I'm going, what, else, what, what can you say when you hear a story like that? But it's Milius's words, and it's Shaw's editing that wound up in the final film.